And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Go Hard. That's going to be our next deck here on this Rank Up Sunday. That's right, we're playing, you know, the deck that's probably the most popular deck in the game right now. Um, this Go Hard deck with Twisted Fate, Elise, one copy of Gangplank as well. Um, because this is just such a good card, only one mana investment. Um, what we're going to be doing here is trying to draw a whole lot of cards and cast Go Hard as much as possible. Because after we've cast Go Hard three times, then our fourth one is going to be Pack Your Bags, which is a pretty insane card. Five damage to all enemies and the enemy Nexus. Pretty insane. And that's what our deck is built around. Uh, going and, and finding the go hards um, playing the kind of newer version with a couple copies of commander ledros so you have your ledros to help burn them out you have your doom beast you have your um, pack your bags and of course you also have your nexus damage from spray fin or like your twisted fate red cards your gangplank attack you, know, you have all those things to kind of drain them out and then you also just go wide with all these things so that's going to be our deck. This is a you know real popular one. That's what we're kind of. That's going to be our theme for today. We're playing uh, four of the most popular decks today. That's not usually what we do here on stream, as y'all know. Usually, I I play um, a lot of decks on the outskirts of the metagame and and have fun exploring. But we're taking a day to play the popular decks for those of y'all that really like these ones. All right, so we're playing against Tom Kench Soraka. I don't think I mulligan Go Hard, even though I don't know if Go Hard's really going to do a whole lot. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep this hand. Looks like a reasonable hand. You prefer the more copies of Gangplank? Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. Uh, oh, yeah, Elise doesn't always do a, a ton for a champion. Um, I'm kind of going with the, just kind of going with the you know, stock list. That's what I'm doing. You know, the stock li list from Mobilitics. Caring for the stars shows their true potential. I can't wait to see them when they're all grown up. Well, now I want to play Twisted Fate. Didn't know the boss no, I'll wait till Don't after they attack the next turn because of Boxtopus for the Twisted Fate. Didn't know the boss is sent for you. Don't know much, do ya? When you feel okay, I was wondering if that was going to get rid of the powder keg or not. Oh, I'm sorry, Gucci. I still keep forgetting about doing the, the prediction thing. Here we go. We'll start We'll start the prediction from now. Will I win? I forget about that sometimes, so... Y'all can say, what do you think? Will I win? Because it's, it's pretty even right now. Could see it going either way. So I'm going to play the Go Hard first to get two copies of Go Hard back into the deck first before I go blue card and draw two cards. Never lost a fair game. Okay, draw one card. Eyes open. Sprayfin does a good job of drawing Go Hard. Gotta go with the flow. That'll be the third copy. We have the Chronicler of Ruin for the Sprayfin. To protect. To protect.
So where are you at, Twisted Fate? You're at three. All right, we're hoping to draw. Pack your bags. And there we go. One mana is incredible. The possibilities are infinite. Take heart. Live with purpose. This feels like cheating. <laughs> you know, like this just kind of feels like cheating. Alright, one mana, I don't think that they have anything to stop that. Alright, so now Twisted Fate's about to be at 6. We can cast a Salvage to level up Twisted Fate. Let's go ahead and do that. No, go hard. Really, it's that Vengeance. Like, I kind of want that Vengeance in this matchup more. All right, keep shuffling more copies in. Oh yeah, Twisted Fate's definitely one of the very best champions of the game. Absolutely. Alright, so if I go pick a card, we draw three cards at the beginning of the next turn, and we red card, and the red card kills the Star Shepherd. But otherwise, or I just keep Twisted Fate for next turn, but. No, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go with this pick a card. And just draw into three cards. We that blows up the spell shield. So down to four, trade here. And let's see what our fleeting cards are. Hey. Got the twist of fate back as a fleeting card. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who would have provided two really sustenance, child? Eyes open. Alright, drain down to two. What's in store for me? Oh I need time for commute top. This you know. Red card down to one. All right, they're back to three. And that should just be game from attacking now. Go hard kills that, stuns that. They only have the one Tom Kench to block, and we attack. It was in the card. Man, that was pretty silly. With Demacia, huh? So is this gonna be like a, a Yeti deck, maybe? I'm not sure. I guess Ruination is not good against Trindamere. But I don't know, this seems like this could be a really good Ruination matchup. So I'm gonna try keeping it. I know what lurks in the shadows. Withering Whale. I don't want you. Alright, 
Okay, so go hard the weirding stones, and now it's just an O2. And so now gold card from Twisted Fate would be able to kill it. Or I could go red card and have Withering Whale also red card. No, let's just take out one of them right now. Alright, never mind. We'll take out neither of them. Okay, they do have the 8 plus cost card in hand. They ramped up too. I don't care. Uh, let's go full shark. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. I'll wait till next turn for another pool shark. It's not like I'm gonna be leveling up to it, you know, it's not gonna like level up to its fate immediately or anything anyway. Card's good. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Rack eyes and flesh. Lizgar the Ancient. Card's underrated. That was pretty good. Okay. Let's see what we got. A salvage. And a go hard. Alright, attacking. What do you mean offer drops? What is that? What are drops? Alright, so we got them down to six. Our strength is yours. Brave in, no. Didn't know the boss had said it with you. Don't know much, do ya? These are all good cards to Ruination away, right? Like, they haven't played a Trindomir. Thankfully, I, I have to just keep on hoping no Trindomir. It is me. I don't like Please these. Uh, Withering Whales much at all. To create a challenger. Didn't know the boss is set for you. Don't know much, do ya? I don't really even know why I'm playing this, considering I have ruination that I can play the next turn. I don't know, it's just fun seeing all those things die. Okay, so Fontana asks, is there an average number of cards you recommend to keep three in any deck? Um, not not like any specific certain number, but basically the more linear your deck is, the more three ofs you want. So when you're thinking about like an aggro burn deck that's trying to do, like a burn deck that's trying to do the exact same thing every, every game, that's where you want like your lot of three ofs. Or like your control ramp deck that's just trying to play like all the ramp cards and sweepers and stuff like that, you want like a lot of three ofs in that kind of deck. When you're more of a mid-range deck, like maybe your um, Shen Fiora kind of deck, or you know, like you're a deck that like changes a lot and does a lot of different things, like this Twisted Fate deck that we're playing here, you're you're gonna want more um, ones and two ofs um, whenever you need like different game plans against different decks, and and you know when all your games are different, um, you're gonna want more one and two ofs. So that's kind of. That's kind of like the, um, I don't know if I should, maybe I should, I should, I should probably play the go hard first before the salvage. 
So that's kind of the thinking. And yeah, so the more the more you want a card, then the more you want it to be a three of. So three ofs are cards that you want every single game. If if you're if it's a card that you don't really need every single game, it's probably it probably should not be a three of in your deck. Three ofs are exactly that. Every game you want it. Today we fight as one. Who's that you got there? Okay, I I don't think there are drops for this game. Then. If that's what drops are in-game rewards for watching streamers play the game, I, I have not uh, seen anything like that. Three cards left. You're welcome, Logan. Happy to help. So if their plan is to play Ice Pillar right now, then Ice Pillar is not fearsome enough to block the Ledros. So they are going to need to block Ledros with the King of the Trolls. He's busting out of the Ice Pillar. And of course that's a trade I like. Does kind of feel bad. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. You know, just playing this go hard deck. Get ready for a beat down. And you know, messing people you know, people are just trying they're they're just trying to do their cool troll thing. And I'm just being mean. Go hard is cheating. I feel like I'm cheating. Alright, playing against some invoke with denies. Cards that counter go hards. I'm starting with two go hards. Alright, there. One drop's a little bigger than my one drop. Um, I'd like to play Go Hard first before, you know, before we draw any cards, but... Whoa, we got a brand new Twitch Prime sub to Side Bay. Thank you, Side Bay. Let's get some hype votes in the chat. That is our sixth sub of the day, thanks to Drewski gifting out those subs earlier. So tomorrow I'll start, we'll start with one out of five tomorrow. I'll just have that uh, roll over. Um, Where are you, I'm cool with that. That's cool, that's cool. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Hmm. It's not as cool. Witness glory. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpentine. Mountain Scryer. Targon's history is in each stone and star. I'm 
basically the quick thoughts I have on Victor and Zoe is I'm I'm very excited to play both of them. They both look really fun to play and uh, really fun to build around. And um, yeah, I, I'm excited for the new champions that we're going to get. Lady Luck is smiling. So let's twist fates at two out of eight. It's a risky attack against Phil Cascade. Probably just shouldn't have been an attack at all. That's about the only British I know at all. I think that's British. Know your path with mountain changes. Mountain Cry are so good. A hero cloaked in stars. We're at five. So it's basically do I want to play Doom Beast or do I want to play Glimpse Beyond? Those are kind of my two options. I think I want to go Glimpse. No, let's go Doom Beast. Should have gone Glimpse Beyond. I will be heard. Should have gone Glimpse Beyond. I should probably I should be attacking with Twisted Fate also. I mean, the reason not to is Pale Cascade. Believe or burn. They're gonna kill this Twisted Fate anyway. Right here, they they may be like keeping up like, no, never mind. I was gonna say they may be keeping up some kind of protection protection for their five one challenger. Worried about go hard. See, there's some Canadian boots. I have some British, some Canadian. The messenger chases stars from the sky. Ledros. Yeah, Ledros plus Cro Chronicler, I guess, is a combo. You get an extra Ledros in hand, so we could have three Ledros. Oh, both of those I want to draw, especially Sprayfin. Man, Invoke decks are annoying to play against. Infinite cards. When I, whenever I'm just playing like normal decks, I actually, like some people really don't like this Go Hard deck. Some people really don't want to play against it at all. I don't mind it that much. I, I, my least favorite thing to play against are these invoke decks that just have, they just never, ever, ever run out of cards because you can't, you can't just play around everything, either. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Because not only, I mean, not only does the invoke, like, the invoke stuff takes a while to, to figure out, like, what do you want to choose and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, I understand that. But it, it's not just that as far as, like, slowing the game down. But then whenever it's, whenever, like, every single turn you have a full hand, that gets really difficult to decide exactly how you want to sequence. And, it you know, it takes a lot of time to figure out what you want to do every single turn when you have you know, just so many options. So yeah, it's not only just the 
reading the cards and picking them from them. We'll see, like, the, this next expansion looks like it is um, improving Invoke decks. Zoe, in particular, looks like Zoe's making Invoke decks better. And then they, there's the new Daybreak with Lifesteal. That's probably that's definitely my least favorite card in the so far preview. There's the four mana five four life steal. I really don't like that card because that that's just going to make these invoke decks even a lot better against aggro and make it where the games are going to go so much longer whenever everybody has five four life steals. I don't love that. You poor thing. And that's your favorite card, so now you get to invoke more. Yeah. If you just want to have 30 minute 30 minute games of invoking, then that, that card's for you. Some people want that. But as far as me, like how, how I like, you know, edit all the, the videos and stuff like on YouTube, like all the invoke the vocal uh, invoke matches are always like forever. So I'm considering Chronicler, the Ledros. You don't get the play. Um, be, I would create another Ledros in hand, but it would just basically reset the health of the Ledros. That's probably not worth it. Just resetting the health of the Ledros. Let's draw Go Hard instead. That's going to be Go Hard number three. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Kind of about what they have. They they should still have a whole bunch of invoke cards in hand, right? Like, they haven't played what they got from either of these travelers. So if they just have, like, you know, invoke, like, obliterate stuff, they just obliterate my board. Not good for me. That should be a pack of bags. There we go, because, you know, I'm chilling with all the Glimpse Beyonds in hand. The power of the immortal sun. Sunlight blinds. Packed him good. Expect this to get denied. Would it make sense to pass? We gotta make sense to pass. Clad in shining sunlight. Glorious light rains down. Okay, no, no deny. Pack your bags. Playing V Draven Ezreal. Yeah, get your votes in, get your prediction in. Will I win? The Draven Ezreal, which that deck is very good. I love all these card draw cards. Card draw sweet. Won't do anything for a while. No, it's okay, Mr. Toastly. Yeah, you put all those channel points on that I'm gonna lose. And so then, then you bet, then you're cheering for the opponent, but that's like a good way to hedge your bets, right? Because either, either I win and you're happy and you're like, yay, Hawk won, that's good. The poor. Nothing to do right now. Or the opponent wins, and you're like, oh, that's sad, the opponent won. But at least I get all of these uh, channel points, so that's good too. So you get you get good, um, good outcome either way. 
It's like you, you're like paying channel points for me right to win. Up. Jack says the version that I play doesn't have Elise in it. Why not drain after the attack? I don't know because I was impatient. The version I play doesn't have Elise in it. Does having Elise make a difference? Nah, not really. I don't know. We haven't we haven't really done anything with the Elise so far. It's it's been a good turn two play a couple of times, and that's basically what Elise is going to be. Is going to be just a, a pretty good turn two play. Now I'm I'm letting them Mystic shot the Twist of Fate. Uh, I want to kill the Draven. We're going to gold card it. Do have like the backup Twisted Fate and everything. You know, usually I, I like to you know have like Glimpse Beyond to be able to respond to removal spells like that. But that's all right. I need to get rid of this Draven. That's still pretty good. You know, like my one Twisted Fate killed the Draven and got rid of a Mystic Shot from hand. We'll take that. I rarely forget. All right, so I, never I would prefer to play Sprayfin and block with Sprayfin and have Sprayfin draw Go Hard and then Go Hard and finish them off. That would be like my preference. I'll cut my name into you. But the problem with playing Sprayfin, they got the two mana, they could just go another Thermogenic Beam, Mystic Shot, they kill my Sprayfin, and now I'm taking eight. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, so I'm gonna play the Gangplank that can definitely block that they couldn't kill with two mana. Their bones are splinter. Mm. Like a fish in water. <laughs> yep, there's that mystic shot. Hang them by their entrails. Just keeps one target down. Oh, huh. All right. I guess I should have used the glimpse beyond on the, the powder keg. I, I suppose. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So our next one will be pack your bags. Hey, what's up, Cabo? Good afternoon. Commander Ledros. No one trade. Tradesies. Mystic shot the Doom Beast. Okay. I will get out of your way. Man, one mana short from like Twisted Fate blue card than Vengeance. One mana short. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Blue as the serpentine. So I'm going to vengeance this Captain Fair next turn. Of course, of course. Alright, Spray Fin. That will help draw a pack of bags. I 
do not expect them to play anything else before attacking, but... Maybe they will. Pack your bags drained five. From each thing, you just like completely heal your nexus too. Feels like Packer Bags isn't broken enough. They need to make it more broken. Thanks, Japanese Airlines. Yeah, I'm doing well. Glad to have you here. Okay, so two decimates and four other cards. I'll put them down to five. And Ledros is afraid to Eminem lose himself. So they'll be down to five. They're out of Ravenous Flock. We can have like Dreadway Deckhand Doom Beast, that can drain three. Alright, Lasso Decimates. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Again. Go on then. It's a good pull shark here. It allows me to block. I'm so good, I surprised myself. It allows me to choose what I'd want to do with Ledros or Deckhand Doom Beast. Four mana, not expecting them, you know, they can't play Decimate here. Not expect not expecting them to really threaten me before like the Doom Beast finishes them out next turn. Uh, especially how I have the Withering Whale that can heal my Nexus for three. So this this should be. I play Deckhand, I play Doom Beast, they die. Should be, especially with Withering Whale back up. Or I guess, yeah, I guess I should go Salvage. Let's see. Uh, 9, 12. I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm one mana short from going Salvage, Doom Beast, and then having Withering Whale back up. Alright, so if I go Salvage Doom Beast, I don't have... So they'd have to have five spells to play. We know their hand now, though, like how they emptied their hand. So this would have to be, like, Rummage. They'd have to have, like, Rummage into Mystic Shot or Get Excited. Or if they just have Mystic Shot or... Mystic Shot does three, four, five. So yeah, yeah Mystic Shot kills us. I wish we had one more mana. The Withering Whale, I wish we had one more. But yeah, I, we just can't let them decimate us. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Hopefully they didn't top deck. You know, hopefully this isn't Mystic Shot or Rummage. Wow. Sweet life, opponent. Sweet life. We life. Yes, yeah, so they had three. Yeah, Mystic Shot, Static Shock, and then and then maybe you know Rummage into something like that. That's about all they could draw. Like they'd already used two Static Shocks. They'd already cast multiple Mystic Shots, but yeah, they drew an Ezreal Mystic Shot. It's basically like you know, do I want to mulligan the Ledros or not? I'm, I'm keeping these things. It's just. The Ledros is the question mark. I think I'm gonna mulligan it. I'll burn for what I've done. Well, we're getting uh, plenty the of other expensive cards. Let me go ahead and attack. Attack. 
As they attacked before they played a Daybreak card to block. We'll go with the Pool Shark. We're gonna have four mana next turn, which basically everything that's real important costs four or less mana. You know, Twisted Fates, Brave Finn, Go Hard. Gives a point, that Withering Whale, not important. Yeah, usually Vyheimer plays the like the three two daybreak. Hey Nashor. I can use my mana better by going at least Doom Beast. I don't wanna do that. Like I I want a Doom Beast in play. I don't fight. In the matter. Oh. Obviously, they'll be able to use any, like either one of those cards to heal the Spring Guardian. going to be a long game. Don't really have good answers to either of their champions. I'm expecting one of the champions to come down this turn. Certainly see them having Hush. Come on. This allows me to cast the Glimpse Beyond. First, go hard. <laughs> First one. You don't usually see it like opponents, you know, like the deck down to 22 cards before you're casting a go hard. But that's where we were with that. Out of the springs. Witness glory. This is outrage. Could be a Bastion here, but can't really stop that. The stars. What seems to be the problem? All right, definitely want to save Ruination for after Heimer. That's for sure. Hush now. Solution. That is an interesting solution. Believe or burn. That's a solution that makes a little bit more sense. They get a free 8 8. But they do shuffle their Heimerdinger back into their deck instead of having it in their hand. So that's good. I'm not sure if I need to worry about taking 8 damage here and going down to 10. Like, probably not. Don't need to worry that much about that. Gotta go with the flow.
Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. There is one. What once was two, now is one. Okay. So we're going to have 13 mana. Which is a good amount of mana. I'm not too worried about this dino. We can block that thing. They of course play a ton of you know like guiding touch and and star shaping and and uh, pale cascade. They have like all those kind of cards that all save their thing. Okay, they're going with the mystic shot. I love that. Like that's very good for me. Um, yeah, like that's that's just good for me because mystic shot is something that I am worried about with my life total. I do like seeing that. Right, I'm just gonna let them waste their mana. My spirit shines. You got legs. Use up. We live here. There's all those cards. No, pack your bags. All right, so we have Twisted Fate red card. Basically, you know, decide if I want to use, I wanted to do that first to decide if I wanted to use Withering Whale or not. I think I go not and I just go which was a fate red card. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. And this kind of set, kind of is telling them I have packer bags also with the uh, ability to do five damage to that T Hex. Still have nine cards. <laughs> you know, it's just all these cards draw a card. You know, you just never just never run out of cards. Targon's, they they really went overboard with the card advantage in Targon. Bilgewater kind of also, but then it went even more so with Targon. I really wanted a, a pack of bags here before the spring gifts. I thought that this was a good spot for a pack of bags. will make you feel better. No Jagged Butcher. Well, they're down to four. It would have been nice to have 
one more mana for the Jagged Butcher, but can't really complain about with Gohard, you know, with Packer Bags being one mana, deal five to everything. I've used all three Pale Cascades. Used two Guiding Touches. I'm going to be winning this. I'm running out of cards. They will never run out of cards. One girl wrecking crew. The only thing that doesn't replace itself is their Vi. One champion. Obviously. All right, definitely don't like my chances anymore. My my best draw is Twisted Fate. Do the nightfall drain. I don't change fate, but I can see it. A little late there, Twisted Fate, but. Because I, I want to gold card the Golden Sister. I don't understand why they're. I, I don't know what they have, like what they're, what they're doing. I don't really know what they could possibly have. They're just doing nothing. Like, is it just all removal spells? I guess so. Maybe it's just all removal spells. Oh, they just have three get excited. Well, that's a pretty sweet life. Dead in their tracks. Static shock, the third guiding touch, the sun treasure. The deck was stacked against us. Exact lethal. So both of our games that we lost were, you know, like those kind of close exact lethal kind of things. Um, this deck feels really, really good, the one that we're playing, but... Um, at least doesn't really seem worth it as a champion. Not so much. I think that I could have... I think that I, you know, I think that I, I shouldn't have cast the Withering Will whenever I did, like that... Uh, second to last attack turn that um, I should have just let damage happen and then play some go hards and hold on to the withering whale I think I should have done that yeah not not too big a fan of the elise in the deck the thing is like the elise does make like your your early game better it really like it, it can do like some other things like it it makes like your doom beast better being able to play it than doom beast it makes your fortune croaker better um you know it does it does like some good stuff there and it and uh but as far as what a champion goes it may not be worth a champion because you know like 
is Elise really that much better than like Arachnoid Horror, for example, right? Like you could just play Arachnoid Horror in that slot. And honestly, Boxtopus is probably just underrated. Like you could just play Boxtopus and have something that can like kill some champions and, and things like that. Um, so there's like, there's other good options for like, it's, it's good to have like it there in the two mana slot, but there's other good options for the two mana slot as well in these regions. Yeah. Boxtopus isn't good against the card go hard. Sure. That's, that's reasonable. Ledger dress was all right. It was fine. It helped finish games. Um, other times just kind of unnecessary though. It was, it was all right. I don't know if like game planks, like just like the best though with this deck. I honestly wonder if like a card like Thresh could be really good in this kind of deck. It's just, you know, ways to control, you know, more ways to control the board, more ways to just like make life difficult on the opponent. Have, have people really played Thresh in this deck? Cause it feels like th this could be a really good Thresh deck. I don't think, I don't think this would really be the best. I'd rather have Thresh than Tom Kench. I do feel like this could be a really good Thresh deck though. Yeah, you have a lot of like little things, like yeah, like your powder kegs and, and like all these like little things that you block with that you don't care about that, that help level up Thresh. And then whenever you, you know, go hard, pack your bags, you kill a bunch of stuff, you level up Thresh. Things like Thresh only puts in Twisted Fate when you're attacking. Which that's not like the, the best thing to put into play, like whenever you're attacking is like a 2 2 quick attack Twisted Fate. But if you can put in you know, like a level up Twisted Fate is really, really valuable if you had already leveled up Twisted Fate for something else. All right, there we go. That's Go Hard, though. Really good deck. <laughs> it's an hour, 20 minutes for these games. Really long games. Um, yeah, if you want to play Go Hard, you want to play Invoke, you're you're going to draw tons and tons and tons of cards, but you're going to play super long games. Um, not necessarily my favorite, the super long games, but it is fun to have a million cards. All right, but that's Go Hard. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always uh, appreciate those. Let me know what you think of this deck, if you've been playing it, if you like it, you love it, you hate it, anything like that, let me know. But thank you so much for watching, some Go Hard, and I'll see you for the next video.